Today we're going to be reviewing a Kickstarter for handcrafted sharp edge dice by Dicebound. I wanted to take a look at this Kickstarter because they have some interesting things inside their dice which we'll get to in the video, but also I think I know how their dice are made in a similar manner to the way I do things. So I wanted to take a look at them and compare their quality to what I think I could do. And so I'll talk about that as I go through the video as well. Marissa at Dicebound was kind enough to send me out two sets, their Dark Matter set and their Celeste set. They come in these awesome little bottles with wax seals with their logo on the top of them. As far as packaging is concerned, very impressed. I think it looks really nice and it's far better than just getting a traditional dice box like you normally get whenever you buy a set of dice. It's easy to open and it's got this interesting little paper which is important to how I think some of the dice are made and I'll talk about that here in a second. And the dice come out of the bottle with absolutely no problems. Now to the dice themselves. Aesthetically speaking, these dice are absolutely gorgeous. They have kind of a two-tone color gradient that goes from one color that's towards their high number on each die to another color on the opposite side. And they also all seem to have something on the inside that reflects light in some way, shape, or form. It's also a logoed set in that there's going to be a logo on the D20 for each of these, but on no other dice. Sometimes you see logo on D6s, but not on this one, just on the D20. As far as the make, I think it was made by putting a layer of the black color and then actually some of that paper that you saw before down in the center and then pouring a layer of clear over the top. That seems to be a theme for a lot of theirs, however, not the Celeste set that we'll look at here in a minute. The polishing on these are actually very clean, very shiny, very glass-like, and for a sharp edge. I don't want rounded corners. So this might be a die that you or I could make, but theirs is made very, very well. Now I know you want to hear and see what they look like when they're rolled, so let me shut up for a minute. All in all, the set looks great and it sounds great. I don't really have anything else to say about the Dark Matter one. I really like the color scheme on it. So let's move on to the next set, the Celeste set. This set has a couple changes. One, the wax seal on the top is a different color to match the theme of this set, which I think is nice that they change out little details like that to match your set. So you feel like you've got your own custom set for whichever one you end up getting. The style for this Celeste set is actually a little bit different as well. Instead of having this opaque black or opaque color on the high numbers, it's actually also a translucent color. In this case, purple. The other color is this kind of foggy, translucent green, which I'll show you why it's foggy here in just a moment. And it's got this silver leafing foil, or maybe even aluminum foil in the center, which I think matches the purple and green better than the unicorn or mica paper that you saw earlier would have. So good choice there. I would also be willing to bet money that their sprue or cap on their molds are on the 10 on this tens place mold here. The reason being the dark number is actually on the eight zero instead of the double zero. That's kind of a byproduct of handmade dice because you have to do one thing on the top and one thing on the bottom and if you choose to make your sprue or cap on the one or in this case 10 on the tens place dice that just happens with these type of dice layouts if i tried to make these dice and use my molds i would also have a dark spot on this tens place d10 that would not line up with the high number i think it's just a quirk of handmade dice so i think it's kind of cool but other people may be bothered by that this single view on this six face here on this d6 die is so dang cool looking it actually made me love this set it really makes me want to play a fey warlock of some kind. Before I show you what makes this set special, let's hear how they roll. Now, it's already a gorgeous set on its own, but it has something special in that it has UV reactant material. That's that foggy part of the green that I was talking about earlier. It reacts under a black or UV light. So if you're having a rave or a cool Halloween special of a session, this looks really awesome under black light. Now, I say UV reactant instead of glow in the dark because it actually doesn't glow in the dark. It only glows under UV light. And this is the first time I've ever seen some of that material in person. So I was actually very excited to take a look at this Kickstarter and see what a dice with this sort of material on the inside would look like. Being that you can't see it unless it's under a black light, it's kind of cool and kind of a hidden feature and could make for a fun little surprise for a spooky session, but you're not going to see it on your everyday use. Take that as a good or a bad, your call. Also a vital piece of information, when I was just rolling these things around for footage, the Dark Matter set, I rolled a nat 1 on, and the Celeste set on the other hand, when I rolled it, yeah, I got a nat 20 there. 
I mean, I'm not one to believe in curses, but you may. So, you know, take with that what you will if you're picking a set. I say that, but the Dark Matter set is actually my favorite, and so I'll probably be using that one. And honestly, I think both sets are absolutely gorgeous, and to be made from a small family kind of running this Kickstarter for themselves, they have done an absolutely fantastic job. And they have a dog named Cheeseburger, so what's not to love? For another thing to love, Marissa actually gave me an extra set of Dark Matter dice to do as a giveaway sometime. So if you want to win that set, I'm going to be tweeting about when I'm going to give it away as a secret on the day of which I'm going to give it away. It'll probably be on a Tuesday night during my D&D &D streams. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Subscribe if you might want to see some more review videos like this in the future, or if you want to learn how to make your own dice from scratch, because that's largely what we do here on the channel. Thank you, Marissa, for sending me out this set to review on Kickstarter, and let me know in the comments down below if there's other Kickstarters like this you might want me to review, and maybe they'll send me some stuff to review sometime. Thank you again, I hope everybody's staying safe, and I hope that you have a fantastic day day.